You know what? Let's get this done. I've got time. Let's just sort this out right now. So, hey Gargoyle. Hey, so you know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just run. Screw these guys. I don't, I don't need to fucking fight them. Let's go. So we're back in where for you. We are gonna progress to go get us. Oh, he finally hit us. Nice. To go grab us something cool. The key to save Lord Radio. Aha. Excellent technique, comrade. Excellent technique. So, up we go. Same equipment as always. I spent a lot of souls on buying arrows for later. You will note, we are pure white. Thanks to the magic of this lovely server. Truly a miracle to the gods. Well, of the gods. Whatever, I don't fucking... Oi. Don't interrupt me while I'm doing a mock monologue or whatever the fuck. Alright. Not a lot to say in all honesty. Um, good chance I'll cut some of this because it's kind of dry. We're just getting to the tower. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. Let's run it. This will be interesting enough. Seeing if we, you know, actually suffer from this. The real problem will occur in a moment when we get to the lift and it's not down. You guys stay mad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use a katana. I'm going to try for the sake of it. Well, not now, but later. I'm quite enamored with my big stonking axe. Yeah, you, you do that, mate. Oh yeah, if you look down there... Excuse me? If you look down there, that's where Yurt was. No longer, of course. Wonder what ever happened to that guy. Oh well. Ah well. Up we go. Yep, our magical friends are no longer with us. How sad. Pitiful. Okay, cool. Just make sure there's no gargoyles. There shouldn't be, but you never know. So up we go. Mm-hmm. You are uh, you can't seem to fall off here, which is cool. Oh no, on the right side, yeah, of course. Like what presumably happened. Up, oh, Makoto. Oh no, okay, no, just straight up suicide. Mm-hmm. It is, my friend. Now, to see you. Back at Ridiel's cell. Away! And now we're back in Latria. Boy, that sure was fun. Ex <laughs> having to exit the game because I was still pure white. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Now y'all might be wondering. What? Why fucking bother? Well, while we're here, we might as well merc Black Phantom Rudiel. No reason not to. Also to be needlessly cruel to the prisoners. Now ah, let's save these guys. See, we help them. Hmm. No commentary about becoming what I hate. Sir. I, I, I already did this when I wasn't wearing Yurt's armor, so... No lecturing, please. Excuse me? I, I don't think you thought that through very well. Oh yeah, so on pure black, there's a black phantom down there. I'd say cool, but it's not. That, however, is very cool. So we are wearing the ring of hitting walls. The ring of magical dullness, just in case we get 
hit by not them, by one of them. Squid headed guards. Not the squid headed knight we heard about a long time ago in the Valley of Defilement. No, of course not. So this is where Freak hung out, but no longer. No, no, instead. Let's head this way. So, yeah, I also mentioned in that middle room we saw a long, long time ago, for real, there's a Black Phantom, um, yeah, Black Phantom Mind Flayer. Fun times. Now, we have to take out our friend. And then we should see a Black Phantom right behind him. That's why. Okay, it's kind of hard to discern what's going on. There they are. Right there. Yeah, so we can unlock these now. Uh huh. See, I'm I'm a helpful guy. I'm not as bad as the jailers. I always wanted to make a build similar to this in Dark Souls 3 for Irrefill Dungeon. There was one I had that I kind of used for a little bit, but I didn't really invade with. Um, I love the Spike Mace a lot. I think I've mentioned this before. Fucking hell, man. Fly. I thoroughly love that weapon. Yep. That does a good chunk, don't it? Let's eat up. Um, yeah. And I wanted to make like a jailer type invader. Not a lore invasion or anything, but still. That's when I should have got back, but. Yep. What else you got, man? What else you got, man? So that would be his ring popping, I believe. Could be wrong. Uh -oh. We're trying to bait. I know how to fight halberds. I use them myself. So I am well versed. There we go. So it is written. True that. True that. Oh, because it is pure black, he's not here quite yet. So we will need to come back in pure white. Yep. <sighs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, that's totally cool. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I totally screwed that up. Well done, me. Okay. Now, time to shut up. Oh, why, thank you. Thank you, kind soul. Please, take this fine piece of work. Besides, I have no use for it now. Oh. And thus begins my final, eternal rest. Radical. <gasps> Thank you very much, Radiel. And there is nothing behind him, believe me, I checked. I checked on another file. I, um, I nudged him out the way with a, um, with a push. Radio, so what's here? Some goodies. Now, you should have seen my face the other day when I finally opened these doors. And lo and behold, all the stuff I thought was here was not here after all. I was thinking the rope set was here. Alas, it is not. Instead, we shall find something else. The three-cornered hat, for one. So that's a few things to look at. There is nothing here. However, yep. There we go. Freak set. 
end in here. Fucking nothing. Mm hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So, what did we pick up? Let's have a look. Now, I actually can't remember if I got one of these. Mm hmm. No, it wasn't what. I don't think I got any of those. Phosphorescent pole. Oh, yeah, I have both of these out. My bad. A long rod inlaid with blue gems that emit phosphorescent light. It's bladeless and lightweight, and due to a magical enhancement, it slowly regenerates. The wield is MP. One of Lord Ridiel's most storied exploits is his theft of this weapon from the witch in the sky. So, while we're here, and ignoring my cat, the halberd polearm moveset. So yeah, we read the important part, MP regen, pretty cool. CED, not a bad weapon at all. As I, as I was mentioning much, much earlier, having uh, a crescent weapon or a moonlight weapon is better than this, basically. Kind of sucks. It's a shame, it's pretty cool. I think in the, that Cinder's mod I keep spruiking, they made a different version of this with a different moveset. I think they might have given it like... Uh, what you call it? The, um... Oh, got some items. Cool. They might have given it like a battle stave kind of moveset. Some like flippy shit. I don't know. Cool stuff nonetheless. Oh well. So up ahead we got that prisoner ball from earlier. Let's do a damage test, shall we? Aha. Whoa. So see, he still fucking hurts. But we hurt too. That lizard is back. Time to get even. You have betrayed me for the last time, lizard. Sorry, but, well... You're watching this because I'm going to kill the, lizard, the fucking lizard. There's a black phantom out there, by the way. We'll go say hi in a second. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, I have even more of this because I was farming in one free earlier. Oh, wait. Yeah, no shit. I changed it to pure white, of course. Now, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure I got the key. Because the real treasure should be here. Aha. Uh -huh. Cell we want to get to is over there. Alright, we've still got some armor to look at, I'm aware. we got some goodies to read about. So the, the, the key we need is in a cell over there. We can open one or two of these, I believe. Now, let's see. There's that one jailer over there. There might be a third. No, I... Yep, yes there is. Yep. Aha! I see. That was a good plan up until it didn't work. Yep, I believe some of that is the rogue shit. The rogue set. Let's be polite. Just sucks because we can't wear it. So here is a good example. We are clunking because we're in heavy armor. And, well, you know, we're human. So it makes noise. Quite a bit of noise. But because we're holding our great axe like so, we make less noise. Weird, I know. So that's Riel's right there. I think we need this before anything else. Legendary hero indeed. Now let's have a look. Does it say anything different? Nah, doesn't. Okay. Nothing in particular. So nothing here. Okay. All we gotta do is pick up the items, read some descriptions, and we are good. Also this because I'm being a bastard. Yeah. 
No excuse or anything, I'm just, I, I just felt like it. I'm gonna be honest about it. You can judge me all you want. Now the only shame is, I'm quite happy to wear this ring given I'm not really using the fireball right now. But, there is a shield we will get at the end of five, of, yeah, of uh, Valley of Defilement. Oh, there we go, there's the rogue set. That is fucking rad. Because it gives us an anti-magic aura, like the rune shield. Except we don't need 18, uh, well, magic for that. We need far less. We need none. Ah, oh, we can actually get up on it, huh? And that is a cat. Anyway, we're almost done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. And... We got this cell here. Which has fucking nothing. Alright. So, unfortunately... Like, um, the Saint set. This impedes stamina regen, but does not... In, well, doesn't say shit. So that's cool. Venerable Sage's Hood. Sage Freak, the visionary's equipment. A plain traveling suit. Yeah, we'll try that again. A plain traveling suit, which makes for long marches... That makes long marches possible. However, it is, it is the travel wear of a dirty sage. This shows Freak's origins quite well. And all the other pieces will say very much the same. Meanwhile, for rogue's clothes. A luxurious vest of smooth, smooth black cloth woven with gold thread. Equipment of a masked society who meet in secret to discuss a harnessing of souls. Their clandestine affairs are largely unknown. It'll be similar things. Yep. And then we got the three-cornered hat. We have a thing or two to look at. The three-cornered hat. A stiff, dirty, three-cornered hat. The, the, the traditionally depicted witch's hat actually seems to have been worn by the genuine article. A real witch. Who defunct it? Dull rat's ring? Dull rat's ring. A simple gold ring engraved with the seal of a small animal increases defense when HP is below 30%. Held by Lord Riel, known as Little Alant. There is also the Clever Rat's Ring, which forms a matching set with this one. And I think we're done. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Let's just go through everything I picked up. A parrying dagger. There we go. A dagger made for parrying, normally equipped in the left hand. It is a weapon used by those of the masked society who meet in secret, blah blah blah. Women of this order have become very adept in using this unique dagger in place of a heavier shield. Meanwhile, Yurt uses it too, because they're inclusive. So, yeah, zero, 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 oh sorry, no, down the bottom, 616. It's a parrying dagger. So, unlike Dark Souls 3, you get a slash. The parry. In Dark Souls 3, you get a block. Dark Souls 1, and presumably... Well, yeah, no, 2. You get a slash. Man, Dark Souls 2 definitely had the best dual wielding. Ped weapons are cool, but... It's not the same thing. Anyway, that's that. Taking off this nerd shit. It's okay, but I'd rather wear this heavy stuff. But honestly, we're not actually much better than. Alrighty, well, that's all. Pretty concise. I'm probably going to make this its own part just for convenience. Next thing's up. Next thing that's coming up, I'm assuming I will go deal with the Makoto. If not, well, we'll be doing 5 2. But yeah, I'm going to have a part where I just go murking up the other Black Phantoms. Oh, speaking of which, while we point, while we beckon. Wrong thing. Sorry. You will notice we got that little bit lighter. Yep. So as long as you get that final hit on the Black Phantoms, you're golden. I don't know why I clicked there, but I did. Yeah, that's all you need. We've got to kill three more, and we can go get the Friends Ring from the Monumental. 
I should go have a chat with him to see if he has anything to say, but regardless, see you later. Concise part. <laughs>